What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back at it with an all new product review and today we're taking a look at the Canadian brand 1950s. If you checked out the clay catalog part three, you will have seen mention of their union matte clay. And today we're going to get a full look at the other two products in their lineup. We got three products to run through today, so we're just gonna jump right in. Here we go. This is the Barber Made lineup from 1950s. Named for the stylish 50s era, their products pay tribute to both that iconic time period and their hometown of Toronto. Their line consists of three products, the texturizing cream, the original pomade, and the matte clay. The Union Matte Clay was recently covered and demoed in the Clay Catalog Part 3. If you haven't yet seen that, I definitely recommend you jump on over to that after this video for a quick look and a demo of the clay. We are though going to get a look at the other two products today, starting with the Original Pomade. The Original Pomade is described as a gel type water base that features a nice 3.5 out of 5 hold level and a 4.5 out of 5 shine level. The scent on the pomade is also described as somewhat of a clean bubblegum type scent. The pomade also comes in a really nice 4 ounce custom metal tin. Looking inside the tin, we are met with a familiar look of a gel type pomade. It does have a slightly golden look inside the tin, but it actually breaks down clear and very slick. This pomade also has a nice sticky presentation and a slightly dry and grippy feel as well. Let's shift over to the texturizing cream. This is a water-based styling cream that according to the brand, offers defining texture and a smooth three out of five hold strength with a three out of five shine level. This cream also comes in a custom four ounce tin and an awesome cashmere cologne scent. Looking inside the tin, we're met with a familiar white creamy paste like cream. It scoops out of the tin very light and creamy and has an effortless breakdown without a lot of visible stickiness. Now that we've got all the details, let's get a look at these products in action, starting with the original pomade. I'm going to use the original pomade on damp hair because I found it a little harder to use on dry hair. But on damp hair, it actually applies really slick and easily. And with two scoops, it gives me great control in the hair. It's also very easy to style with and shaping with a comb is also very easy. It gives you great lift and control and produces a really nice style. I was very pleased overall with the final style I got with this gel type. Gel types are always a type of product that are really iffy when it comes to reviews. Usually they style really well, but the questions really boil down to how much do they harden, how long is the hold, and can it be restyled? Here's a look a couple hours into my test. What we see here is obvious hardening, but not to the level of helmet head. I can still move my hair around and it doesn't feel like it's going to snap off my scalp. For restyling, I always look to the wet comb method of wetting my comb and just running it through the hair a few times to reset the pomade. I found that this pomade responded really well to this method and it took no time at all to reset the style and continue on with my day. Moving on now to the texturizing cream. I think out of all three products, this one was the one I enjoyed using the most. I found it worked best for me on dry hair and application is super easy. That tag and stickiness makes a noticeable but not overpowering appearance after it's applied. And what I found was that it's so easily moldable, which is a great thing because it allows me to get a nice clean but somewhat messy style, a more relaxed style, or even a more cleaned up type of look. Honestly, all three of these products are really well made. Personally, I don't use gel type pomades all that often when I'm not reviewing, but I do think for a gel type, this one is quite well made. It definitely hardens up being a gel type, but it's far from one of those force field generating pomades that sets things into orbit around your head. Endurance was really good, no complaints there. I've actually used gel types that have evaporated after an hour, and this one held up no problem even after being re-wetted and styled. Comparison wise, this one I'd say is on par with the Big Slick Water Base and the Rocky Mountain Barber Gel Type. Absolutely, they are all very well made gel types. I would also say that this one actually outperforms Suavecito too, for those that are wondering. For the texture cream and the matte clay, the matte clay is actually really nice. It's not 
aren't as dry as some of the clays out there, so it's a nice change of pace from the others available. I do again recommend that you look at the clay catalog for some details on this clay, but since I didn't include comparisons there, there are a few things that I think it is comparable to in my opinion. The Lock Arts clay is one that immediately comes to mind, but I do think that this one has less oils present in the formula, but it does perform somewhat the same. With it being an oil-based clay though, it actually did wash out in one wash, so that was really nice. The texture cream was awesome to test as well. It gives great texture while making the hair feel nice and soft without sacrificing any hold. In fact, when rinsing this product out, it makes the hair feel really nice and conditioned, which is a really nice touch. I also think it's really versatile in its ability to produce slick and casual styles, and the scent they chose is seriously awesome. They say it's cashmere cologne, and I'm terrible at scents with my allergies, but I can breathe around this one, and I really enjoy it, so that has to say something. They are alcohol, paraben, and sulfate-free. For those people that are into those type of products, they do feature that as well. Their prices on their site are actually displayed in Canadian dollars, this is something I didn't realize when I made the clay catalog. So on their site, it's reported as $22.95, but in US dollars, it actually converts to $18.44. So it's really not a bad price when you consider the products themselves and the custom tins they're made in. Overall, you can see this brand has not cut any corners with their products or their presentation, and that's something I think we can all appreciate. If you'd like to check out 1950s, their website will be in the description down below along with a coupon code to save you 10% off your order. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of new review related content on the way as well as some cool new stuff I've been working on. So make sure you hit that button and stay tuned for that. And that's it for today's episode. I want to thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this video. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.